Hey everyone, welcome back to my monthly video. This one's pretty interesting, so I hope you enjoy it. But unfortunately, I didn't get as much time as I wanted to edit it, because my power went out for a few hours when I was playing on editing it. But here it is, Dragon's Monthly Video number 4. I hope you enjoy. Please consider subscribing as I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks so much, and once again, enjoy the video. DMV4! DMV4! It's DMV4! The monthly video I post every 22nd of every month. DMV4! The video I post every 22nd of every month. I want to first start off with something surprising that really caught me off guard. Recently, I posted a Dying Light meme as a short video on my YouTube channel. Many of you probably have seen it, but I thought it got a lot of views since Dying Light has been very popular lately, since they posted a trailer for Dying Light 2. But nope, actually, the reason it got a lot of views is because the Dying Light content creator known as Oni Zombies reacted to my meme on one of his past live streams. Here's the portion of his live stream where he reacted to my meme. <clears throat> Dragon Pixels, he sent one. Him, huh? I'm gonna get this first try. Dang it. Well, I do have 72 left. How hard could it be? <laughs> this <laughs> Alright, last lockpick. It's gonna be like a crowbar. Oh. All that for this? <laughs> That's actually worse. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright. Meme approved. That's a good one. I, I appreciate the lock picking one just because of how much editing had to go into that one. Okay? Each time he did um, a break, he had to cut that video. That's a good one. I didn't expect him at all to react to my meme when I put it in the memes channel on his Discord server. But of course, I'm really glad that people got to see what I've created. And one last thing, I was genuinely embarrassed at first when all those people watching his live stream saw my meme. I was just sitting there watching, and then I hear my voice and I'm like, wait, what? That's my voice? In his video? Anyways, let's move on to bigger and more exciting news. Wow, Dragon Pixels, great idea. Long, dramatic music. Oh my god. It's what I do every time. What can it mean? Oh, I'm probably gonna face reveal. Oh, probably not. Oh, did I change my logo? Check my YouTube. Oh, what? What's that? Oh, the music's ending. Oh my god. Wait, no. Oh my god. What's it gonna be? I'm working on basically 2021! Yes, you heard that right. Currently, in my spare time, I will write down any ideas I have for basically 2021. I'm also editing the intro and the outro sections of basically 2021. The reason I'm working on it so early is so I can focus on individual sections throughout the rest of the year and plan out what I want it to look like. Basically 2021 will be much bigger, more edited, longer, and just better than basically 2020. More people will be featured, and there's about 12 sections right now. More sections may be added, some may be even removed. But a highly requested thing for basically 2021 is the game section to be shorter. And yes, I will be making it shorter. But there will also be more sections about games. I will go into detail about the sections and how they're different later in the year. If you want to get early news on basically 2021, and more news, please join my Discord server. It's a very friendly place where you can meet new people and just hang out and talk. The link is on screen, and as always, it's in the description below. Have you ever thought of my logo as flat and boring like a piece of paper? Well I sure have. For a while now, I've always thought of my new dark logo as a flat, 2D, and bland logo. So I wanted to make it look 3D a lot like my old light logo. So that's exactly what I did! BOOM! Here it is, the new Dragon Pixels logo. They don't call me Dragon Pixels anymore, they call me 3D Dragon Pixels. I'm no longer 2D, I'm 3D now. Hey Turkish Pixels, you wanna steal this logo next, huh? Nah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so basically I changed my logo like I said. And I think this will be my final logo. I really like the new look of it. And it's actually not really 3D. I made it in Paint.net, which is basically just a glorified Microsoft Paint. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally just think it looks a lot better, and not as minimalistic as before. 
Imagine you wake up and it was a beautiful day outside. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and Tion was telling me to get on Fortnite. Let's play Fortnite. And then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, a big storm is hitting the house. Oh, the power's going out. We don't have water. We don't have cooling. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna lose my Fortnite V-Bucks and my skins. Whatever will I do? Well, that's a bit overdramatic, but really all that happened is a big storm hitting my house, and the power went out for a few hours. That also happened to be the same day that I wanted to edit DMV4. Luckily though, the power came on the next day, so I was able to start on DMV4. It was pretty weird having no power, water, or cooling for so long. It really makes you realize how much we depend on all of that. Recently, I got back into Fortnite, and honestly, it's still bad. The main two things that keep me playing right now are the Rick Sanchez skin from the Battle Pass, and my friends Tion and Molota are also back playing too. I bought the Battle Pass only for the Rick Sanchez skin, and I'll probably end up quitting again once I get the skin, if not then, I'll probably quit around the end of the season. It gets super repetitive and boring with all the tryhards, but I have won a LOT of matches. And when I say a lot, I mean SEVEN IN A ROW! I guess I still am a god at Fortnite. Maybe I'll stick around for a little longer, who knows. Speaking of games, I played Biomutant back in late May, and I livestreamed it. The game was terrible, I was practically sleeping the whole stream due to how boring it was. The narrator is the worst part. You walk up to a bridge, and he talks about how the bridge is a bridge, and you can walk on it. It gets so repetitive, and he always talks about the most obvious things. The combat felt like it was made to only fight against one enemy, and not to mention, it went into slow motion every time I jumped and shot my gun. The combat was so weird. Oh, and I almost forgot, the UI it looks like they pulled it directly from Fortnite and just shoved it into their game code. I luckily refunded the game though, and I actually used the money on Dying Light 2. Let's just hope that game turns out good. I recently talked to the guy that is impersonating me. We argued a little bit, and I still find it funny how he says he's been using the name Dragon Pixels for about 10 years. I doubt this guy is even 14 years old because of how he says stuff. For example, he says here that he THINKS you can find his very old YouTube channels on YouTube, which is another piece of small evidence that points to him impersonating me. Although, I did make a typo here. I said in the first line that I wanted him to change the logo, but I meant to put name and not logo. Another thing that points to him impersonating me is him saying, I like your logo, and that's why I used it. Huh? Okay. I make a logo, right? I work, let's say, about an hour making a logo. I don't make logos to get them stolen from me. So this, to me, is just another big piece of evidence that points to him impersonating me. There's also other bits and pieces of evidence all over the place, like my Jackbox streams on Twitch being around mid-January, and him creating his channel around mid-January. But at this point, I really don't care anymore about this guy, and I'm not scared of him. Like honestly, what he said to me shows that he doesn't know what he's doing, and he's definitely lying about not impersonating me. But anyways, that's about it for this monthly video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't as good as DMV3 or, or any of my other videos, but I will always try my best to make the best content I can make. Please consider subscribing, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.